Hi everybody. I'm very excited about today's recipe. I'm going to be making mini sandwich rolls. This recipe is actually for a lady named Namita and I have lost touch with her. I cannot find your email address. It was deleted I guess. But um, her little boy has a lot of allergies, uh, practically everything. So I found a special recipe and hopefully he can eat this. It has no gluten, rice, egg, yeast, or dairy. So I've been trying to contact you for a list of things that uh, he's allergic to. So hopefully this bread will work and if not, contact me and I'll find something that will. Um, I wanted to also say before we get started, I wanted to tell everybody thank you for subscribing. Special thanks to Phil Commander. Thank you for that awesome video you did for me. I've um, really gotten a big response from it and I've talked to some wonderful people. I've met some great people on YouTube and I'm really excited to make more videos and just Audi parents rock. This recipe I found in Special Diets for Special Kids by Dr. Lisa Lewis. I feel like I've been putting this off for a while. I think I've been sort of scared of the bread. You just hear so many stories about how hard it is to bake bread, but I am so pleasantly surprised, and I know I've got a long way to go. I'm going to do this video, and there will be one coming out right after this uh, for a different type sandwich bread, but so far I'm, I'm having really good luck, and my motto is if I can do it, anybody can do it, because I have never, never, never been famous for my cooking actually quite the opposite. So if, if somebody like myself can do this, absolutely anybody can do it. Okay, before I show you what we're going to need, I'd like to share a great tip with you that Donna Rollison shared with me. Um, one complaint about GFCF bread is the dryness. A lot of times it will just crumble in your hands. So um, we want to try to make it as moist as possible. Take a cast iron skillet and fill it you know, not all, not overflowing, but fill it with water. And we're going to put it on our bottom rack. The whole time the oven is preheating and the whole time the bread is cooking. And we're going to give our bread a little uh, sauna. And I have tried it both ways and there is a definite difference this way. You can really tell that it, it helps moisten your bread. So preheat your oven to 400, get your sauna going. Here's what we're going to need. A half a cup of oil, vegetable, corn, um, let's see this here is a natural blend of canola, soy, and olive oils. You are going to need a milk substitute, okay? This part's important. If your child has a rice intolerance, do not use rice milk in this recipe. At the beginning I was saying how this is a rice free recipe. Well I guess I lied because I don't have any soy milk. That's what you would use um, or some sort of milk substitute with no rice in it. Now we're going to need quinoa flour, one half cup. I'm probably butchering that word up, but I believe it is quinoa flour. A half a cup of that, a half a cup tapioca starch, and I've done a little investigating and I think that tapioca flour is the same as tapioca starch. Uh, you're going to need potato starch, a half a cup of that also. Regular sugar, you're going to need one tablespoon of that. We will be using the Egg Replacer by NRG and we're using several of those brands, the NRG brands today. They are awesome. You can find them at Walmart. We have them at our local grocery store. Most health food stores should sell it. If your child doesn't have a problem with eggs, you can use one egg instead. But uh, like I said, I'm, I was making this special for somebody and I know her little boy can't have eggs. So there is NRG Egg Replacer. Alright, Xanthan Gum, which 
is uh, essential in GFCF bread making. Bob's Red Mill has a great brand. We are going to need two teaspoons of that and two teaspoons of baking powder. First you're going to want to mix your oil and your milk substitute in a smaller bowl and beat that and set that aside for a second. In a larger bowl you're going to want to combine all of your dry ingredients. And now we're going to add the liquid to the dry and combine just until mixed. You're not going to need an electric mixer for this recipe. You're just going to want to stir it by hand really well. The texture should look like this. Just really doughy. Okay, now you're going to need an ungreased cookie sheet or you can also use um, muffin tins. And if you do the muffin tins, you know, only fill it up like halfway, maybe a tad above halfway, because they are going to rise. Now, I'll tell you, I have made these before. You can make these any size you want. You can make them uh, big for hamburger buns, small for little snacks. You can uh, make them biscuit sized. And the one wonderful thing about this is you can freeze them after you prepare them. Um, to, to be honest with you, I'm not sure if you can freeze the dough or not. It, it doesn't say anything about it in the book. So um, I'm just going to say go ahead and make it and then freeze. Now we're going to put them in our preheated oven. And one other thing that's very important. You need to know your oven. Um, I found out in, in uh, this process of learning to make bread that my oven is supersonic. So I'm going to really need to keep a close eye on this. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to set it for 18 minutes, maybe even check it after 15. You really need to know your oven. And of course, the first few times you do it, you're going to want to babysit it and keep a really good eye on it. And um, I think that's about it for now. We'll check back in about 15 minutes. It's been about 22, 23 minutes. And it's ready. You're going to want to let them cook until they're nice, light golden brown. I'm really pleased at how my bread turned out today. They taste delicious. They smell great. I wanted to show you a few things you could uh, spread on them. Your Earth Balance uh, butter substitute. To me it tastes just like butter. GFCF peanut butter. You can make them little lunchtime snacks. They can carry around. I know that's really big with my little boy. Finger foods. GFCF jellies. I recently found out that this Smucker's Goober jelly is GFCF and that comes with the peanut butter and jelly already mixed and that's a big hit. We, we use the strawberry and the grape. Uh, for breakfast, the uh, butter substitute and jam, I mean you got you a little breakfast biscuit. Let me know how this recipe works for you and don't forget if there's a recipe that you'd like to see me do a video of, just let me know and enjoy. Bye-bye.